I, I had a chance to see Welcome to Raccoon City last night, and I, there were a few things about it that I found particularly surprising. And one was, like, the amount of character in this movie, the Resident, the Resident Evil 1 and 2, the originals, not the most um, thoughtfully character-driven games. Um, I'm curious. They're great like, games, how but they're, all... not, they're sure. not character-driven. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I, I'm kind of curious, though, like how you all brought those characters to life and did your own spins on them. Yeah, I mean, I think what what's great about Resident Evil, the first ones, is, you know, they, they're great templates for what you can do with a world, right? You know, because the, the reason that that world is so rich is because you have real people going through those. You feel like one of them going through, right? And I think if we were to to then take those and put them exactly into this movie we're making it would be quite a boring movie so you had to like add layers and layers and layers and take off you know like wesker's sunglasses and and find out who the human is behind that and uh, why he, he you know acts upon uh, his you know his uh, what he's up to you know why he does that so for me to to take to take off those sunglasses and sort of layer back who this guy really is Ultimately, you know, his selfish acts speak for themselves, and he is a selfish person, but he's not the villain on the face of it. And I think that's that's what I wanted to really delve into a little bit deeper. And uh, and I think that I, I'd like to see this version of Wesker in the first game now. <laughs> sure, yeah. I uh, I think it all starts with Johannes in his script. You know, he 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 he's the one who took the, the one and two really looked at it, mapped out what was the goal, the, what were the things that, you know, are good springboards for, for character development, you know, with Leon, it's, it's, you know, his character begins with, it's his first day. He's having a terrible first day. So what kind of person does that create? You know, someone who's, who's uh, can, who's like trying to adapt very quickly to his surroundings, who maybe does that with an edge of humor. You know, he took some of the humor and stuff that's actually more in Resident Evil 4, uh, and um, and sort of put it into uh, Resident Evil 2. His sort of like exacerbated, sort of like over it um, personality is sort of, uh, I think, a hybrid of, of stuff that happens to Leon 4. And, and so, yeah, so we, and he sort of built that. It was all in the script. And then so when I got a hold of the script, it's just about embellishing what was already there. And then because, I, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the, of the series and have played Leon for hundreds of hours uh, as a person, <laughs> um, before I ever became played him as a as a as a as an actor, um, yeah. So I was able to we just incorporate all that. Sure, I I, I don't want to say it's necessarily a grounded film because it is about zombies, but it, it's like a remarkably more intimate film than I expected. It's very blatantly also pulling from like '70s psycho thriller and Italian horror. So aside from yeah, the games, yeah, like, yeah, what yeah, were yeah, like some of the like inspiration Gialli films, and, sure. like, like like Italian stuff. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. Dario Argento was all over this film, which I thought was like surprising for a video game adaptation. So aside from like the Resident Evil source material, was there any inspirations you co you all were kind of pulling from for your performances here? Well, we talk about this. We, I, I try not to pull from uh, like movies uh, and TV shows because it's not as helpful to me. It's sure. it seems like it's too close to the medium. It's like it's like it gets closer to mimicry than anything else, you know. But mm. I mean, we have the games. We have the greatest source of, of, and for me, it started with behavior, you know, like Leon's sort of behavior as he moves around rooms and how he, you know, like that's the stuff that I thought was like, oh, that's iconic of, of Leon. And how can we, mm -hmm. um, how can he develop that? Because I don't think he originally, you know, was started like he, he, the zombie apocalypse is what turns Leon into Leon, you know, um, throughout the movie. And, and, you know, me and Tom have the, have the sort of like the larger, arcs of the story as far as like you know character is concerned so yeah it's really about just like pulling from the source material really yeah yeah we had like like Gavin says you know you don't want to like copycat anything you want to kind of the whole idea of this is to create you know you have the opportunity to create an original character version of uh of a source material character you know and and that's what's the exciting bit so you don't want to like go and copycat anyone really and draw from other performances you want to create your own um and what was so great as well is we had an amazing script to work with an amazing director writer director who um allowed us to play and, and really discover who these people really are within this world so 
uh, yeah, that was the, the most fun part about it, really. Sure. What are some of the anecdotes or stories that kind of stick out in your mind from the making of this movie? Me being pelted yeah. in the face of that football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When when That's Robbie threw a football at uh, Avon uh, in a take, it nailed him so hard in the face, and I I remember thinking like, how is he still standing? That like smashed him so hard. Yeah, it was one of those uh, things where I'm like, we have to continue to finish this close up before my face starts. Yeah, I mean, I'm welling. surprised <laughs> you didn't get like a crazy black eye from that because it, it hit you so freaking hard, man. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> But it was funny. I'm yeah, I thought think, it was funny. What was that? Was that for the movie? I do not remember any recreationally. No, 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 no. Until... He in, in, okay, in, the, gotcha. in the in the in the no in the pit in the in like the sort of cop pit. Robbie's throwing a football, and then you know uh, he plays Chris Redfield. He, you know, I I scutter out of the room, and he's supposed to like sort of pelt it behind me, and it hit the wall mm. as I. But he's got a good uh, he's got a good arm on him, man. He's for a Canadian boy. He knows how to throw a football, so he he pelted me right in the uh, right in the eye. Sure. So I, I think I only have one more question for you, all, and it's something that's been on my mind a lot with this movie as kind of like a new imagining for Resident Evil in the film world, coming off, you know, a very big, popular, long running Resident Evil series. For you all, as two of the stars, I mean. What are the excitement slash like trepidations you have about being in this kind of new vision for what Resident Evil is in the film world? I think I think what we're excited about is that Johannes really understands that these are horror movies and understands what the fans want, you know, um, and um, and, you know, any time that um, a filmmaker is, you know, is 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 adapting something that's a that's a beloved IP, you know, um, it's, it's cool to see someone with intention to do it. It's got everything to do with the team. So my apprehension is only only would have ever been about the team assembled and the team assembled between the cast and the creative team behind the camera. Uh, everyone really cares about the, about the games. And that's 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 all we can ask for, really, as actors and as fans, you know, is that the people yeah. who are making this, you know, give a shit. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you all again for taking time to talk to us. And uh, hopefully you all are proud of the outcome of the film. I got to watch it last night and thought it was really cool. So it was awesome to get to talk to you a little bit about it. We got on very well with Capcom, who have been so integral to this movie. あの、本当にですね、ヨハネスあの、